Uh, <laughs> start, the question is, start, are you going to go brown? Like yeah. Will you yeah. go brown or just stay red? No, but the, this is the thing, Jay. I'm not, like, in real life, I'm not red. <laughs> I swear to God, every time I do these, yeah, like when we was doing them for Sky, I'd come on and the footballer go, fuck it, now, <laughs> right? you've, been, you, you've, you've been away. And I was like, no. Then I'd, send a, then I'd send a photo of my normal face, not a Zoom face. And they're like, well, why, why do you look like you're a killer tomato on here? And like, I swear, I'll send you a photo. Killer okay, tomato. <laughs> You can you can you can split screen it in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll throw it in. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to you. Yeah, uh, oh, no, sorry, go on. Yeah, right. so this is episode two of episode series two. two. I can't believe that we've got this guy on. We've, I mean, we just didn't Honestly, expect yeah. for you to say yet. In all honesty, because the people we've had, we've had friends on, haven't we? We've had um, friends, people who own bars as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Local Whereas actors getting some. Are we, not, like are we not friends? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you decide after yeah, this. <laughs> yeah. Um uh, and, thanks for having me on, boys. I really uh, appreciate it. Um, like, somebody oh, that, of a name like yourself, um, we're absolutely made up. So for those who, who don't know, you obviously tube some soccer AM or path from golf life if you watch golf life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I do. Um honestly, so what we what we're gonna do is obviously we always try and go back. Um, and let people introduce themselves. So we'll let you introduce yourself, obviously what you do and um, what, what's the plan for you? Uh, hi, I'm Pat from Golf Life. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm good. laughs> and the plan for me is to get better at golf. <laughs> you are no, getting better. So, no, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. No, I'm, so my name's Peter Dale, but they call me Tubes on Soccer AM and about 18 different names on golf life with my brother and i work at sky sports soccer am and i have a golf youtube channel with my brother Ange, but we call him Anne or <laughs> and and diamond or yeah just loads of different names so now going forward i want to grow uh, the youtube channel because i absolutely love doing it it's yes. great, absolutely amazing um so yeah that's about that's me so obviously we'll go we'll start with soccer am um you started off didn't you as like a almost like a, a runner um if i'm not mistaken obviously doing cups of tea and coffee and stuff like that um and then you've been there how long have you been there now i think i i surpassed my double testimonial the other the other oh, um, yeah. Wow. Like about, yeah about 21 22 years I was going to say, because I remember being a kid, yeah. like a kid watching it. Not to make you yeah. feel old. I know, anything, yeah. But... <laughs> Not to make you feel old. Yeah. I'm really red and I'm 73 years old. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm 39 and I started um, making teas and I worked for free uh, at Socrem when I was 16 years old. So at 20, uh, no, at 20, I got a full-time job in the sports library. Because uh, I was like one day away from going to uni, they were fuming with me because I had my bags packed and my place all sorted. I mean, God knows how I'd have ended up at university; it would have been an absolute car crash. But <laughs> I was literally a day away from going, and I got a call from a woman called Pippa who used to sort out jobs at Sky. She said, "I just had Tim Lovejoy in the office. He said we can't let you go to university. Um, we need to give you a job. So we've made up a job for you at Sky." you're a runner in the sports library so basically all i did back in the day before this high tech stuff it used to all be on tapes so sports sports news would phone up and go all right we want a goal from well, i don't know lukaku let's say so then i'd have to well not at the start i just had to physically take the tapes to the sports library and get the goal for lukaku and my job would be to get the tape walk it down to sports news put it on the shelf walk back I was so fit, honestly. I was doing dogging <laughs> all day long. <laughs> so no, that's um, that's how it started. And then when there was a job at Soccer AM, um came up, I moved across. So yeah, I was I was watching um, the Ben Foster podcast you done um, last week, and you were saying how you almost got your your break was quite lucky, really, because Rocky went on holiday, yeah, which isn't meant to be allowed, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, eat, 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 eat. at Soccer AM, you don't go on holiday during a season. I mean, it's been loosened now, but back in the day, it was like, you do not, you know, you don't be ill and you don't go on holiday. And he said to, he turned around to Tim, he goes, I'm going skiing. And he was like, you what? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Get skiing? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he went skiing and then I just got a call. And so Tim said, because I was still in the library at, the, at that time, he said, come upstairs. I was like, all right, cool. So the soccer room was above me. I was bottom floor, soccer room were above me. And it was him, Fenners, I think Sheephead as well, I think. They went, um, yeah, so uh, Rocket's gone on holiday. Uh, felt sick, like they couldn't, they couldn't believe he'd gone on holiday. And they went, um, how do you fancy being Peter the test tube baby? And I went, you what? I said, excuse me, what? They went, yeah, you're going to be Peter the test tube baby. I went, well, what exactly is that? They went, oh, well, you're going to, we're going to dress you in a nappy. Uh, I was like, right, okay. I thought it was a wind up. Um, I'll give you a can of beer and you bring the balls out uh, for the um, for the end game for the fans to kick. And they went, oh, yeah, and we're going to put the conga music on as well. And I was just stood there like that. Like, what? Can I still go to uni? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let me sign me up. I'm coming. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, but believe it or not, I'm like pretty shy, especially back in the day. I never wanted to be on television. Never, ever wanted to be on television. So I was like, well, he's only gone skiing for one week. So I'll do it for one week. And so I did it. It was November. It was freezing. I nearly got pneumonia. So this congi music comes on i've got a can of beer and i was just i just danced out big fat hairy baby i mean i was like what mum was well proud like <laughs> yeah mum was like well, that's my son what a legend <laughs> <laughs> so i came out and anyway basically all the viewers thought it was genius like i mean i didn't i thought it was quite highly embarrassing but i did it so then Tim was like, oh, mate, it went down a storm. I was like, oh, cool quality, yeah. I'm just still warming, I'm still warming up three days later. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, we had a vote on the show. We had a vote. Who should carry on? Is it because uh, Rocket was a girl? He was Heidi, I think. Heidi? I'm not sure. Random. We, we used to do such random stuff. So anyway, we had, we had a vote and um, I got voted in. So that I just stayed as the baby for about three years. So how, how did you go from being te test you baby? I love that name, by the way. <laughs> to obviously doing the one question only and all the raps and, and obviously interviewing all the stars. Yeah, so after like two or three years, it was it was just like this, this bloke's getting older, he's getting fatter, and it's not as <laughs> funny anymore, him running out with a nappy and a can of beer. And uh, so... It was so bad, yeah. The last show, the last season, like, last show of the season, Lovejoy went, you're not going to be doing the test tube baby anymore, tubes, because they cut it down to tubes. I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he went, no, but I still want you on, I still want you on camera, I still want you, you know, on screen. And I was like, okay. So he goes, yeah, you're going to have one question and one question only. I was like, Right. I said, like, what do I do? He was like, it's totally up to you what you do. Totally up to you. But I had all summer to think about it. So I swear to God, boys, I was so nervous. Like, I was on holiday, like, I was only like 20, like 21, I think. And I was like, so good. I didn't, I was like, I've got to go on television and speak. I was like, this is not for me. So anyway, he went, this is the new season came along. He went, you've got three chances, you know. You've got three lifelines. So if you muck up the three lifelines, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You just do whatever you want. And I was like, right, okay. So I remember the first one, it was the worst bit of television in the world. It was, it was Frank Worthington. God bless his soul, absolute legend. Um, so I was like, oh, I've got to try and be funny. So I just rolled up. I'm shaking like that. Everyone's looking at me like, I had the silly, like, massive sideburns of the long hair. <laughs> Out of work scarecrow, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but 
I've 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 I've, I've walked up mm. and I've just gone. They went. Hey, it's James's question. It's little rubbish spotlight, like the spotlights are making me look well read today. <laughs> <laughs> just came down, boom, like that. And I was like, I'm shaking there, like that. And I went, "Who's your question for?" I went, "It's Frank." My hands going like that. And I'm like, I went, all right, Frankie went, yeah, all right. I went, do you score more on or off the pitch? <laughs> and it was, uh, everyone, everyone was just silent. Like, <laughs> the old tumbleweed just flew past me. I was too shaken even to pick up the tumbleweed. I was like, oh. and he went, he went, oh yeah, um, on the pitch. I went, okay, great, thanks. <laughs> just walked off. I'm like that. Everyone's just all the crew behind the camera was like, <laughs> 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 and then t- t- Tim like that. Tim just went. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I was like, I was like, that was the worst experience ever. <laughs> So I thought he went. You got. To, he goes. That was rubbish. He was quite brutally honest. Love Joy. He was like, "That's rubbish." I was like, "Thanks, Tim. Really appreciate that." <laughs> and he went. So yeah, come back with something different next week. So I was like, "Okay, so what should I do?" So and like, I, I, I got brought up in quite a well-to-do area. Like not well. To, yeah, quite well-to-do. But like in Surrey, in um, in uh, not obviously in England, but like. In England, <laughs> No, Jesus Christ! It was, I'm, still, I'm, still thinking about, I'm still thinking about that Frank Worthington. It's be a shock. Yeah. Um, so I used to go to school, and there used to be like a little group of people who used to try and speak street, like you know, they're like, "You get me," like, and all this. And I, I know full well they live in like a three million pound mansion down the road. You know what I mean? So, well, maybe not three million, but yeah, they've got they had a bit of money. So, like, so I thought. They were going, oh, that's safe, bro. And I was like, oh, that's great. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I thought I might do a sort of Mickey take of them. So anyway, just cut a long story short. It was Razor Ruddock and Ricky Hatton on the second show of my two, three chances. So I've just rolled up, still shaking, but I've gone, um, I've gone, who's your question for? It's for? I said, it's for Razor Ruddock. And the light comes down, boom. So I said, uh, uh, you're coming on fresh and all. And that, and that was their reaction. <laughs> that, I was like, so I'm like that. And everyone's just looked at me. So last, the week before, they're all going, oh my God. And oh, yeah. everyone fell, fell to pieces. <laughs> For me trying to be like the, you know, the, the cool book kid from school and making a funny noise with my cheek, everyone's like, that's genius, mate. I was like, this, it's not, it's not really genius, is it? <laughs> this is twenty-three-year-old man going <laughs> and all that. So, but anyway, that's how it started, and it all just kicked oh, off, and God. ended up interviewing Denzel Washington and yeah. people. Like that. So it was, it was amazing. I, I was watching another podcast that you've done as well, um, and you were saying how it was your decision to kind of stop that character um, yeah. doing the raps and the, the one question only, um, like. It, did it take you? It was it was it hard to decide, like to to come up and say I don't want to do that anymore because you don't know what's next, or had you just had enough completely and just thought whatever happens happens? Yeah, I, it, it it went on for too long. Like I don't know, you know, you boys used to watch it. Like what I I was embarrassed doing it towards the end. I like thought because everyone knew what was coming. It wasn't like the the element of surprise anymore. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. was like yeah. Like he's going to come out do a rap, then generally be scared. But people didn't know. People thought I was like. I, obviously, I did the staring bit, you know, and it was like mm-hmm. Hollywood a listers. I'd be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> just look at them for as long as possible. But I was just like, it's been like seven seasons, yeah. And and plus, it was when Soccer and Lovejoy and all the boys left. Left, yeah, yeah. And I didn't, I didn't go with them. <clears throat> thankfully, I didn't go with them. So it was, Soccer Aim became, to be brutally honest, shit. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It was like, didn't have the Lovejoy, the Fenners, the Sheephead, the Robbie yeah. Knox. Da, da, da. Yeah. And it was, the new people who took over were trying to be like them, which they should never have done. 
so I was still so it was a carryover from the the Lovejoy days to the not so good days. Now it's I think it's top class again. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, but so it was seven seasons, man, and I was like. I just went at the start of the season and said, I don't want to do this anymore. It's not funny. Uh, I'm embarrassed doing it. I can imagine the people watching feel the same. Because if I feel it, it's, you know, it's unless it was someone like new, a Hollywood. I said, I do the junkets once every month or so, but I'm not doing it live every week because it's not funny. It's not funny. I, and plus I've run out of lyrics. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I just... Yeah, Death Row Records dropped me as well. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the music deals weren't coming in. So anyway, I said, I don't want to do it. I would like to do, um, I still like, because by that time I was felt a bit more comfortable on screen. You know, still got nervous every time I did a rap, but you would if you're acting like a, a donut doing that. But like, so I said, can I do something not serious, but like, like in the middle with footballers and looking back at that now it was that was a bit car crash for me as well because I'd go and ask a pretty cool football question but then I'd go oh yeah what's your favorite fruit mm -hmm. and it was like I was trying to be I was still trying to be that character but then doing what I actually wanted to do if, if that makes sense yeah. so I was trying to combine the both to keep everyone happy and at the time no one really went oh that's shit but I look back at it now and go it's a bit sh I mean I don't I am stupid I like mucking around that's what I like doing but it was just there was no structure to it really good like football question and then like oh you know pineapple or pomegranate yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like what so then it's that sort of edged out and then I started doing more it's not serious because I don't really talk serious I, I, I like to find out about the individual yeah. that's probably the reason why you do this podcast is you yeah, want to yeah. find out about yeah. the, the person I, I i think a lot of people it's not slagging people off but pe footballers go footballers get a reputation for being boring robotic but it's only because of the questions they're getting asked yeah if you're going to say our oh, big game coming up this weekend what's the geezer going to say no, nah, not really. Don't really care about it. We've, you know, we've already got top six, so we're. Happy. It's not. It's just going to go. Yeah, big game. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, yeah. It's questions they get asked. So I wanted to find out more about them, and about you know the fun stuff that goes on and their life, if you like. So that's why the golf channel is so good because I can do it for ten times longer than I do yeah. on soccer. Yeah. So it's cool. You probably feel more relaxed as well getting asked yeah. them type of questions because they're showing who they are. Yeah. Rather than the question you just said, you know, yeah, big game or whatever. Yeah. Boring. Exactly that. Exactly, exactly that. And I think that's why they don't mind me going to a week to the to the football clubs. They go, oh, I will do it with him because we can be ourselves. I'm yeah. not bigging myself up at all, but it's it's a relaxed chat like us three are having here. Do you know what I mean? So that's I just, just in my opinion. Yeah, you know what I mean? Definitely, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So we'll go on to golf. Um firstly I want to know how you got into golf. What made you? get going, get the clubs out and have a little go. And then secondly, what made you start a channel? Uh, so I started golf when I realised I was an alcoholic, um, which I knew for, I knew for ages, but I didn't want to accept it because I liked, I didn't like being an alcoholic um, because at times I was suicidal. I ruined girlfriends, relation, girl, relationship with girlfriends. I upset my mum who obviously uh, lost uh, her husband, my dad. So, you know, I was like, I didn't want to admit it. Basically, I wanted to carry on doing it and just running the risk because I was running a risk, boys. I was, I was, you know, I was, I was drinking and I wouldn't know where I'd been that weekend and stuff like that. And, you know, I'd wake up on a Monday morning and look at Twitter, and you know, it's so sad. But if I'm being honest. I'd, I'd go in the search bar and go tube soccer am just to see where i'd been because i knew that it'd be like photos yeah it, it's it, it's a really bad illness and, yeah yeah <clears throat> um but i would do that i'd do that i'd say right there's no photos that's great and then i'd crack on i'd go in the pub at 11 o'clock and uh, it should be fair i was 
I always knew I had a problem with drink, the relationship with it. But when I knew I was a, like full blown, like I had a massive problem was a year when after dad died, I, I was good, you know, I was like looking after Ange and mum was being supportive. I was still drinking, but I sort of put a sort of cap on it a little bit. Mm. I wasn't being that bad, but a year on, I am, um, uh, what's it called? Post, I always forget this. Is it post-traumatic stress? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I had, I, I started feeling all depressed and couldn't, couldn't function properly. And I wasn't drinking, like, not when I was drinking. So I was like, so my, my thought was like, well, I'll just drink to make myself feel better. But so I did that and then I kept doing it. And then I was thinking, and then I was waking up in the mornings going, fucking hell, I need a drink. And then I'd make sure I'd have that drink. So it was like, it was, it was a process. It was like going on and on and on. So I literally, I would go out maybe. So I plan, my, that, this is how sad it was. I would plan my week around alcohol. So I'd go, right, I've got a Andy Robertson interview on Wednesday. So I won't drink Tuesday because that's unprofessional. But I know I'll be in Liverpool. So I know that's a long train journey back. So that's, I know there's a bar on the um, train. Mm. So then I can get off at, uh, what was it? London, Euston, there's a pub there. Then I can go to the off license there by the vodkas for the way home. Cause I know the pub, I mean, how mad is that? Yeah. So by, so the day after the interview, the interview would be good. And plus I'd be so buzzing about the interview that it would make me want to drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it, say the press officer or Andy Robertson would go, that was that was class. You, this didn't happen with Andy Robertson, but I'm just giving you a name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'd go like, "That's amazing, that's amazing," and I'd be like, "Yes." So I get really like hemped up, you know, like you know, at Christmas, I'd be so excited yeah. that I'd done a good job. So the first thing I would do would go and drink. But then if I had a bad day or felt depressed, the first thing I'd do would go and drink. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I was just a vicious. Anyway, wait. Yeah, it's a vicious circle and it just carried on, carried on, carried on. And it was like every time I went out, before I went out, I'd go to the off license, buy 20 cigarettes and loads of those little miniatures. And I'd deliberately wear a coat with inside pockets to put the vodkas in. So just for the fear of the last last orders and me being left with nothing. So it was it was it was it was horrible looking back, but so I'm going off here. You asked how I started golf, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. Um, it's it's yeah. fascinating. Like, yeah. like, but, but, but that, that's, how, that's how golf came about. So anyway, one, one afternoon, I went to Manchester to do a private gig. I was trying my, I was sort of trying to get off the drink, not fully convinced. I was going to see a therapist, um, giving him 70 quid an hour just to lie to his face about how much I drink. And stuff like that it was pretty sad but i was doing it to keep my mum and girlfriend happy at the time but i truly didn't believe that i wanted to give up anyway went to manchester did a private gig uh next thing i knew i'm in cobham uh in my mum's spare room and i didn't know how i got there from manchester walked down walked downstairs she was in tears I'm oh, fucking thinking, shit, like, what have I done this time? What have I done? Because I'd already been in the papers for getting, did I get arrested? No, I didn't get arrested. I got put in a cell. I'm not sure if it was arrested. I think it was from those community police. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I don't yeah. know if that, I, yeah. I, I never got a record. But so that happened, the Sun newspaper, the yeah, and, <laughs> and the mirror, and I think a few people had um, published it, which was dis- disgraceful really, because I shouldn't be mentioning it on your uh, um, podcast, so I do apologize, but that certain paper there yeah, um, phoned me up, yeah, and said, we're gonna publish this. I said, please don't, please, please don't. My dad's just died. Mm. I said, oh, do you, how does this work? Do you, I haven't got much money, but I'll give you money. Bloody, bloody, blah. blah, blah. Um, no, we're publishing it. I said, please, like, please don't. The songs it. demo. Yeah. It, it will break my mum. But anyway, so it, it went ahead. They published it. And mum, I did. I tried to hide it from mum. Mm. But um, 
people were like stopping in the in like Cobham saying, "Oh, is, is Pete all right?" She's like, "Yeah, yeah, he's fine." But they'd seen the, the paper. Yeah, seen the paper. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was. So that happened. From so from that day, I went fuck this. Enough's enough. This is absolutely ridiculous. Like, how can I do this to my mum, mm. my brother, my girlfriend? Left me because I was never a, like a bad person, but I was a liability. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She's looking after me. I'm like, I once fell in a fucking uh, fire, just, just cast out. Yeah, yeah. like because I just started coughing and I, I went. I went in. There was like this bar at Chelsea after a Chelsea game. I fell in it and I was like, she, I mean, I was 30 years old or something, like probably 30, 31, 32. Like, and I was like, so from that day, I went enough's enough. Um, and I stopped, and it's nearly well, over five years. Come on, hey, yeah, so congratulations there, brilliant. That so, yeah, and um, yeah, I try and help as many as people as I can because it, I, I don't want anyone to go through that because it's. It's bad, it's bad. But what, one thing I will say, only an alcoholic can help an alcoholic. Yeah. You, have to, you just have to say enough's enough. Yeah. And, and stop. And just just literally, I tried one AA meeting and I, it wasn't for me, but I'm not saying to anyone listening to this, it's not for them. Yeah. Try, try anything you can uh, to, to do it because once you conquer it, touch wood, uh, it's, it changes your life. It's so much better. So golf, I went, I've got so many more hours in the day, so many more hours in the day. I'm not, you know, I'm not drinking vodka in the morning. I'm not going to the pub in the afternoon. So I was like, right, golf. That's, that's a good way to socialize. And um, so, yeah, so I started doing it properly. I, I mean, I'd always sort of flooded with it, like, but I get bored after nine holes. You know what I mean? I was like, this is, can we go pub or something? Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it never really interested me but it's the best thing it's the best thing so started that and then my brother and diamond said uh, <laughs> um said you play with quite a lot of footballers and i was like um play golf that is sorry that sounds a bit weird plays with footballers and <laughs> And he's got a fucking red face. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, I was like, right, let's get this sorted. Let's, you know, let's get it sorted. Because Soccer AM is full on. It's full on. But I do get, it's like school holidays. I get two months off in the summer. Because um, obviously the football season finishes. So I said, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. And then I did the first one. We, we did a pilot with uh, Liam Ridgewell years well about two and a half years ago when we started and i was like this is awesome mm. i was like and then because i'm an addictive personality i was like right bang just just phoned everyone like jt like like bridgie like and then it was like golfers and then everyone was like and now as it started to get a bit bigger people are going i want to do that can yeah. i do that and then deck christ was like oh this is awesome can i do it and it's Oh, mate, when I'm speaking about it, I smile. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I love it because it's like just out in the open air, just like two mates or, you know, if Angie's involved, which she is a lot more now, it's just like, you know, me and my brother just rolling on the golf course, having a laugh and finding out about someone's life. And, and the best, like, compliment I get from doing that golf life is the comments down below when they say... I I didn't realise he was such a nice bloke. Like I used to slate him. I've read in the papers where it said Kieran Dyer was such a a prime example of that. Like the amount of people that was like, dear Kieran, I'm probably not reading this, but I'd just like to apologise. Yeah. I, we we always thought you're a twat. Mm. We heard about this story, this story, this story, but we've just watched this whole fifty minutes. And my God, I'm so sorry. And that gives me the biggest buzz that you see the real person. Yeah. Well, there's probably a few that are like that because who else have been? Obviously, you said John Terry, um, Jamie O'Hara. He was another one that I watched where I was like, do you know what? He actually comes across as an all right person. Uh, yeah, but Kenny Tennant, he's another one. Um, yeah. That was the first ever one I watched. And I was like, he's actually come across all right. He's having a laugh at mistakes yeah. he's made. He's kind of 
saying what he's done, he's being honest about it, but still having a laugh about it as well. Absolutely. And look, that's going back to what we said before, but you know, you read the media, like, and you, that the media don't print good stuff because good stuff won't sell. Yeah. So Jamie O'Hara, like, is a prime example. Like, he admit he admits he made mistakes. Like, but no one knew he was struggling with mental health. Yeah. No one knew he was suicidal. Like, you know, he he openly admits I was given it large. I was going out with Daniel Lloyd. I was given it large, and I forgot about what my job was and yeah. my passion. But he's the first to admit that until you get a platform where you can say that people just think you're that twat. Do you know what I mean? And it's so true. Yeah. And it's like, you know, Jermaine Pennant, another example, like he's, he's outspoken. Yeah. And he's made mistakes. Yeah. But he's a nice human being. Yeah. And all these footballers are, um, I, I don't think I've met one that I've gone, God, what a, what a penis. Do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> yeah. Honestly. And I just think over, when you're in an environment like that and you you ask the right questions you get to learn and yeah it's it's great i love it i love it i think you're this might be the wrong phrase but i think you're actually bringing them into their comfort zone as well with what you're doing because like you're getting them to do the beardy dance and everything you know obviously if you're funny. <laughs> Red birdie. <laughs> Roger Redbreast. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, but that's all about having fun, lads. Exactly. Yeah. And agreed. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, it's, it's, you're so right. It's they're there and they're gonna have a laugh and they all want to get involved. Yeah. And, and once you see people having a laugh, you think, oh, they're all right. Mm. Exactly. But they're not going to get asked to do the, they're not going to get asked to do the birdie dance in a post match interview, are they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good big, big three points today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks doing the birdie dance. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Could you imagine? Nah. <laughs> oh, I, if I ever like, if it ever I ever leave soccer, am, I want to go and do post match interviews. And just make them. <laughs> yeah. no, You'll get them doing all. You will definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll just go. Oh, yeah, I will. Can I just ask you a quick question? Why are you so red? <laughs> It's the lights. Yeah. <laughs> it's the spotlights, guys. Mm. So no, it's, um, yeah, it's great fun. It's over 104,000 subscribers now on your channel as well. 110, my friend. 110. <laughs> <laughs> no, 110,000. That's brilliant. Um, thanks, guys. It's, I still don't really get it. I still don't understand it. Like, the, which, oh, I feel quite... I do it now, but at the start, they were saying, you've got to do the please like subscribe mm. and I was, like, I was like won't people just subscribe if they like the the content they were like no not because you've got to think it's like probably guys your age who are probably what the majority what are you 30 20 20 20 20 yeah so all the all these subscribers and stuff I always think it's like the the young younger generation I've subscribed to that channel where's us guys well I'm older than you but do these people subscribe, like, or do they just go, I'll oh, watch that, or, or see it on Instagram and go swipe up, I'll watch that sort of thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's what they handed home to me. They're like, you have to do the like and subscribe, and because it, it does help you, it does help you out. But that's the thing about YouTube is subscribers, it just looks good. It's about who's watching. Yeah. So we've always been, we've always been really lucky in that respect. So our views have, double decent as i'd say on the channel but i'll tell you what when you get hundred thousand subscribers just sounds so much better yeah if you're going if a company approaches you and go oh yeah we've got eighty two thousand, they go oh that's good and if you, if you go well we've got over a hundred thousand subscribers they go oh hello let's talk yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't actually matter it's <laughs> about the views honestly boys the amount of times another channel has got a gig over us and i think i uh, okay fair enough that's cool that's cool can i just ask why they went subscribers mm. i went i was like yeah but have you not looked at the views mm. now we're getting four times as much yeah like, oh all right i said because you want to sell your products right 
So it's the <laughs> it's the view. Yeah, yeah. It's mad. It's a mad way. I don't really understand it. And the algorithms and I'm learning, but Big Ange is the one who does all that. Yeah. Like posting times. I, I don't get it. I just like birdie dancing and playing shit. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, it's uh, I just want like I just want to do more and more and more. I'd love to go abroad. Do you do you both play, yeah? I've I've started the last week or mm. two, in all honesty. Um over over time I've been the range and stuff like that. Only because I watch your channel, that's the genuine truth as well. Um that's just made me want to play golf because I don't watch golf. But when I only watch your channel, I couldn't tell you the single golf player that's still on apart from Rory McElroy, probably. <laughs> that's it. I don't no, watch golf. I like that I mean that means so much. Yeah, honestly. honestly that, that's really, the God's really. honest truth. Yeah. Um so that's made me go to the driving range and um like I'm actually playing after this as well. Um, really? probably have a, yeah, yeah, is, yeah. I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna be doing the baby that's all the way around to be honest oh, with you mate. send us some videos I'll, I'll stick it up on instagram oh, we'll do a nice one yeah like that, um but no we should have a, we should have a game in a, well, a few months time yeah, yeah know, definitely yeah. yeah that'd be great but have you received your plaque yet that's the most important thing uh, no 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 no, I don't know how. Again, I don't know how that works. Do I? Do we have to fill in a form? Yeah, I think you have to like sign up for it or something. On yeah, yeah. So this is I. I got told that, and Big Ann Diamond was like, no, no, they just send it, and I was like, I'm not sure if they do, bro. So I'm gonna have to have a word with him. So no, I haven't. <laughs> we haven't received it yet, no. but just just to get there was amazing because I'm not singing our own praises, but we have proper worked hard at it, yeah. like. I was quite naive at the at the start of it because I just assumed oh, I've got a load of I've got a load of Twitter followers, so people would just Im immediately go across. Yeah. No, no yeah, one, yeah. no one goes across. I was like, I was like, oh my god. So I was like, right, re reprogram. Yeah. This is a, this is a new challenge. This is not like people are just going to go. All right, cool. We've subscribed to your channel because you're on Twitter or Instagram. Yeah. So at times it was quite mentally challenging. You're going, I've just done this. This was one of the best footballers in the world. And, you know, only, you know, Sam, I'm not being big headed, but only like 10,000 people have watched it. Don't yeah. And I'm thinking he's posted it as well. And he's got 3 million followers. It's like on Instagram and Twitter. So it, it is the, one of the hardest things I've done, but the best, the best. So we've literally just keep churning out content but not not any old shit. Oh, it's yeah. got, and we're not just going to start doing all this, you know, just to get more videos on the algorithm. For me, it's got to be it's got to be top quality. quality yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, or, or, or it doesn't go out. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've spoke about this on the channel a couple of times. About two years ago, I was in a really bad place, um, and it was your channel. I, I couldn't sleep at night. I was really, really low. And I was getting up in the middle of the night, and that's where I found your channel um, on YouTube. Really? You see, two o'clock in the yeah, morning, yeah. it'll be on. Um, I was looking through my memories this morning, actually, and in about two weeks' time, I put like a post up saying I'm watching your video. It was literally two in the morning. Mate, honestly, that I'm not even lying. One of your videos were the thing that kind of kept me going, in all honesty, because I wasn't sleeping. My girlfriend had no idea that I was, I was getting up in the middle of the night and just going down mm. and watching this. Um, I just thought I, I, I was in a bad place and your channel really, really helped me. So thank you very much for that. No, thank you, mate. Thank you. And we've we've spoken quite a lot, haven't we? Yeah. And um, yeah, how are you doing now? Are you all yeah, all good. I mean, lockdown didn't help, but you know, you kind of in a much better place I was two years ago. I was in a bad way, but uh, as I said, it's it's you know, your content that kind of that was one of the things that really kept me going and kind of kept me happy, to be honest with you. Oh, no, well, no, I'm glad to hear that. But more importantly, I'm glad you're doing better now. But oh, thank you. For anyone watching or listening to this, make sure you talk. Like yeah. if you are, if you are struggling, because a problem shared is a problem half. Definitely, yeah. Uh, that's, that's one thing I didn't do for ages. Like I didn't want to tell anyone about my problems, and I was just self harm, really. If anything, because you're you just you're carrying on just harming yourself, not telling. But as soon as I breached out and went. This is the deal. This is what's happening. This is why I'm struggling. It's like, yeah, weight off my shoulders. So, no, it's um, no, it's it's important to talk. No, it's definitely. really important. Yeah, definitely. What's the plan? What's the plan for your channel? I'm going to get all interviewing now. What's, what's <laughs> do you know what? Like, we genuinely set this up just because we have a laugh. 
like together every time. I mean, I got out of his car before him and flying by Cafe Nero. Like that's just the stuff that happens, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, it's just I don't, I don't know. It was just two best mates who just wanted to. We've always enjoyed like drama in school together and acting and doing all that. So as we've grown up, we said, well, the next best thing is just sit sit down with each other and do a podcast. Yeah. And it just stemmed from there, really. And now you've got your own studio. And now we've got a studio, yeah. <laughs> we've got tubes on the channel. Like, tubes on the channel. We might yeah. just stop it after this. <laughs> and you bir- and you birdie dance. Yeah, the birdie yeah, dance. The beard <laughs> <dance>. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just yeah, it's just spiraled, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, honestly, like we're loving it to be fair. I mean and we'll we'll continue to do it no matter oh, what. Oh yeah. We've always yeah. said that. Even if it was just me and Jay watching it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. just have a laugh we together. We just have a laugh doing it. It's something that we enjoy doing. Yeah. So. That's but that's how, but that's how that's how things come good. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. you, people can see the chemistry of like you two having a laugh and stuff like that, and it's good. And I'll I'll do some I'll do swipe ups and all that later. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 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 Show your friends, tell your friends, swipe left, swipe right. Swipe left, swipe left. <laughs> <laughs> we're no good at that no, to be fair hell. please go yeah yeah please like subscribe, like, subscribe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see you next week <laughs> 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 who do you boys support I'm Liverpool and I'm Everton <laughs> so what do you both think about what do you both think about rapper <sighs> see I, I'm personally like I, I'm not that bothered um I, I love Rafa, absolutely. I still do. Um, even yeah. though we have like gone to Everton, I still do. What he done for Liverpool was unbelievable. Yeah, incredible. Um, yeah. However, I do think he's had his best years, um, and I think it's going to be hard. I think it's going to be hard with the fans rather than the actual team. Personally, I think you know the great. You seen it last night with at the Man U game. They were singing stuff about him, and obviously, you know, <laughs> Twitter was into meltdown after it. It's just, I think. I think he's got a very, very t- difficult task myself. Yeah, I just think, you know, as an Evertonian, Rafa was definitely not on the top of my list, nor was he probably on the top of any Evertonian's list. Yeah, yeah. However, it frustrates the life out of me when you see these fans going at them. Like, if you love the club that much and you support the club, no matter who's in charge, you get behind definitely. them. Yeah, yeah. So, because I, I always thought, like, I know there's rivalry between you guys, but... I didn't realise like how much shit Rafa got for going to Everton because oh, I always I, I always I always see maybe I'm wrong here, but from the outside it's like scousers stick together. Yeah, yeah. Is that, is that right? Am yeah, I, yeah, right? Spot on. yeah. I'm, I'm not saying Liverpool fans are going to be over the moon for Everton because Rafa's gone there. Yeah. But I, I was I was shocked about like the you know the things outside his house and oh yeah 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 outside the stadium everywhere it was disgusting to yeah. be honest and. They're the fans you just, yeah, the I toxic. Just, I, yeah, I just don't understand it. I really don't. You know, if you, as I said, if you love a club that much, it doesn't matter who's yeah. in charge. You get behind them. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. I think the issue was we, you know, whoever we got was a massive downgrade from Carlo. Yeah. So it, it doesn't matter who we would have got. Yeah, you yeah. still would have got that same. Oh, they're shit. They shouldn't be in charge. This and that. This and that. But Rafa has got a big challenge. Yeah. He, he's going to have to win games quick, otherwise the fans are just going to get on him. And that stadium gets toxic. Oh, yeah. Honestly, oh, yeah. like I'm a season ticket holder and five minutes into the game, if it's not going right, the fans are just on the back 24-7. And you're so close to the pitch. So yeah, close, yeah. Crazy. So close. It's intimate, isn't it? So close. Yeah, I've, well, been there, I've been there for a Chelsea away game. Yeah. And that's one of the best atmospheres. Like, But like... Not hostile, how can I put it? Just like proper eerie, like, yeah, it is. Yeah, you know, I'm fiery. I was like, this is your weird. face everywhere, it's just so close. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine being a, a, an away player so close <laughs> to the pitch. <picture>. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, imagine Ross Barkley when he comes. Oh, yeah, the abuse he gets when yeah. he trains on the side. Yeah. Is, yeah, would he exit on as well? Does he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is fair play. Yeah, he's, he's another scouser, isn't he's he? Scouser. So he's probably used to it. You know, half of it's banter, but half of it is serious. Yeah, from, yeah. from the dickheads, but it's <laughs> <laughs> not fun. Like, if you're a footballer, I probably would give it back, but then you get punished, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's a weird one because all the crowd can call you whatever, every name under the sun. But then if you react, it's like, 
you get fined. I'm like, yeah. it's just a bit of a laugh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about well, Lukaku going back to Chelsea? I th- good question, Jay. I do you know what? If it was the Man United Lukaku, yeah, I'd be like, why are we paying this money? Yeah, but. After seeing little bits of him in Syria and the Euros, yeah. I'm seeing a, a doubly better Definitely. look after. I agree, yeah. With so much football smart. Yeah. His run, his touch, I don't know how, but it looks about 50 times better. Yeah. It's sticking, it's sticking to him. So it's a lot of money, but I'm thinking, apart from Haaland, yeah. who's out there? Yeah, he's probably exactly. one of the most informed strikers in the world at the moment. And I think a good thing for Lukaku is when he was at Man United, he's always been a big fella. He actually looked a little bit overweight, I thought, whereas now he looks yeah. trim, in shape, mm-hmm. solid, doesn't he? He looks yeah. like a typical stri- big striker. Yeah. Absolutely. And and the fact that he's he's literally made that move happen yeah. shows, shows me and all the Chelsea fans that he's... He's here to prove a point. Oh, yeah. a million percent. You you said in a good place, I think. I think Chelsea are in a, a real... I mean, obviously, he's won the Champions League. He can be in a much better... In that. <laughs> yeah, it's well, a pretty good place, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> yeah. It's the worst places to be. <laughs> it's no kind of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I, I agree with you, Jay. I agree. Um, but Thomas Tuchel, I yeah. mean, I, I, was, I was gutted. I was so gutted about Frank. Mm. I really was absolutely gutted. Um, but you, you can't knock what Thomas Tuchel's done. Yeah. In a, in a short, on a short space of time. Yeah. He's got a back four, back five playing like you, you will not score against us. Whereas before we were leaking goals. So, and I spoke to a few of the boys. Oh, name drop. I'll just pick that up. But um, <laughs> yeah, they, say, they, they say he's on a different level. They yeah, say exactly. like his man management, his tactics. So you can tell that from yeah, the, definitely. the the touch lines, yeah, you know what I mean? The definitely. way he acts, the way he is. He's very seems a very hands-on manager. Yeah. Well he he out pepped Pep, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll tell you a funny story about Thomas Tuchel. Um he he um he uh, turned up at a hairdresser's where I go down the road. To get my uh, lovely uh, hair it's transplant. Nothing good. It's no, nothing it hair. is. Nothing like, really good. Absolute, absolute boof on. Just shame it's stuck on a massively red face today. But, <laughs> um, yeah, hairy tomato. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> Did you want to eat me? Um, <laughs> um, so he turned up yet, yeah, and they they said all oh, the boys said he saw um, this guy come up on this well nice push bike. You know those motorized push bike. So he's come in and. Kevin, the main boy at Class Cuts, massive chels. So Thomas Tuchel bowled in, and he's like, oh, 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 oh. "This is literally before the Champions League final." So he just he just went, he went, "That bike's fucking mega." <laughs> and Thomas Tuchel went, "Yes, yeah, it's, it's well good, well good. Get on it, have a go." And he's like, "What?" <laughs> so anyway, so he was like, "Now all of you, all of you, get on the bike." They were like, so they all they, they, they went. This thing, he goes. I don't know what's what he's done with it. He must have pimped it up to the max. <laughs> it's going. It's a push bike, but it's one of those electric ones, so it flies. So he had every single barber. I think people were getting their hair cut just stop, stops and just like, okay, we're just going to watch people go on Thomas Tuchel's bike. And they were just all going up and down the road one by one. He was going, come on. Come on. <laughs> That's brilliant. That is brilliant. What a what absolute two cool dog. <laughs> but no, he's brilliant. And so I think to answer your original question, I think Lukaku is a good, 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 good signing. And I think it's I agree. Yeah. yeah. And I think it, and I think it will benefit Timo as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what? Right. He gets slated, and he has missed a few obviously sitters as we know. But if VAR, I think it was, or if you know, if he had only twenty six goals, if they weren't this loud, do you know what I mean? That's not bad. I mean, I know we might have been offside or, you know, whatever, the lead, the play, whatever. But that's still a good return. I know we missed some sisters. At least he's getting in them spots. And I think this season we might see a better player. Exactly that. Exactly that. At least he's getting in there. I've seen, I saw Alvaro Morata, his confidence get crushed. Mm. 
and he wasn't getting in those positions. Yeah. And he, he was choosing not to get in those positions. Yeah. So he so he couldn't miss. Mm. Team Burn has just gone. I did an interview with him and I spoke to him about it. Um, I'll pick that name up as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he was like, no, no. He goes, I know I've got to be better. I know yeah. I've got to be better. I know I've missed too many chances. And I respected that. I was like, yeah. But the amount of assists, you're talking about, you know, the the feet, the, the um, return. I, what he's actually got is on his return, I think still pretty decent yeah. for the first yeah, yeah. in the Premier League. Yes, he's missed sitters, but again, people only talk about the sitters because, you know, it sells stories. Yeah, you know? definitely. I don't think Friends on Twitter, up. doesn't it? The sitters. Yeah, of course. Friend. Okay, let's put a little meme up. Was it a yeah, gift? Yeah. Leave yeah. like, subscribe, swipe left, swipe left. <laughs> 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 I'm learning it all, boys. I'm learning it all. But, um, uh, yeah, no, I think he's going to be, I think I think we're going to be up there this year. Yeah, yeah I do. I, I, I'm... I'll be honest, I was I was quite worried about you at the start of last season and obviously the second half of the season you've really, really played well. Obviously, new manager and that. I think this season you're going to be very, very hard to beat. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, which is what forward now, scores goals and uh, yeah, I think we're only going to get better because he's not been there long. No. Too cool. So, yeah. He's, he's doing gonna very be... well. How's, um, how's your fitness journey going? Because you, you're looking really well, to be fair. Mm. Well, you say that, I look like I've just done a marathon. I'm <laughs> just say you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just say you're ready. It looks like I've been drinking again. That's the problem. <laughs> That's why I get so, honestly, I'm talking about five years sober. I look like, like look at that. No, whatever. <laughs> if I get closer, then it goes away, doesn't it? Or does it? No, I don't know. Uh, my fitness journey is going good. It's going good. Did a little 5K run yesterday. But that helps me. That helps me mentally as well. I love. I love it. It's been quite hard recently because I'm trying to do as much filming as possible. Mm-hmm. So I do like to get in a bit of a routine. But considering three years ago, is it three years ago? I was two minutes from dying. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I can't really complain about my fitness journey. So yeah, it's going. <clears throat> it's good. Does that ever worry you when you're doing fitness? Um, how that's how your heart is and stuff now. No, but it, I do pan. I do get a panic up when I get indigestion, for real, because yeah. that's what I thought I had. Yeah, uh, when I had the heart attack. So, no, not the fitness wise. Um, but my my heart only works at like fifty two percent now. And wow. Yeah, yeah, it got so badly damaged during the attack. So I was well. I'm lucky to be alive, boys. Yeah. Mm. So I can't complain. But yeah, it only works at like 52%. So you have to sort of work double hard because, you know, you'll probably know more, Jay. It's like if the more you work, the heart, the more weight you lose yeah. and stuff like that. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. so I've got, I've got to work double hard <clears throat> to, to, to maintain a good weight. And, but I do because yeah. I like it. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, well, it's good for you. And it's good yeah, for me mentally. Yeah. More, more than anything, like... I always joke about having tits and stuff, but my, my t- I've gone down bra sizes so much. I'm happy with. It. So, <laughs> but I do, I do it. Um, I do it for a mental, really, for keeping myself. Yeah, like, said, that's yeah, just as important, important, isn't it? So important. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for asking. It's going pretty well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Still playing, still playing. Still, play, still playing football. Yeah. You're meant to be very good as well, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, yeah, a, bit. <laughs> yeah. a few top here and there. Yeah, yeah, I seen that the other day. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was mental. That that was that was. Are you talking about the one with with, 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 with Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. Like, it was so funny. His head fell off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was for Kieran Trippier. Kieran Trippier was coming on the show the next day, and they were like, "Oh, Chiefs, can you just stand in and just just go through it so we can <clears throat> position the cameras." And I've taken my shoe off just because I thought oh, I won't get a good connection with this. I'm like, absolutely zing a tower burger straight <laughs> so in the tower. Tower. <laughs> And that, that was, was the that first one. one. <laughs> that was that was the first one. I was like, I was like, well, there you go. There's rehearsals done. I'll see you later. <laughs> that was your first attempt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh that's my god. Really that's why. But that's why. That's why Bullard was like, whoa. That's unbelievable. That isn't it. I mean, it, was, it was lucky, but it was a hell of a strike with yeah. no yeah. shoe. <laughs> Um, but no, I'm all right. I, I, again, alcohol um, ruined any chance of me maybe getting paid to play football. Yeah. Um, and also, I had a um, 
had a choice really at 16 they said you can come and play semi-pro Ryman division you know come and play for the first team and you know see how you progress wow. or, or you know I, I chose to I thought I'm not quick enough. I'm not dedicated enough um, to do it. Looking back, it's a bit annoying. But looking back, would I be sat here talking to you about all the the amazing the things? Amazing. I've got yeah, there? exactly. Yeah. Now you've got golf life. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. That, that, probably, that probably would never have happened. So yeah. I think I made the right decision. But I should have done a lot better with my football career. But yeah. the most important thing is sorting myself out. So yeah, I still play. Yeah. I'll tell you a funny story as well. They said, um, so after the heart attack, they went, uh, um, yeah, your heart's only working at like, yeah, I think at the time it was 30 something percent, but it's wow. gone up because, it, yeah, it's built. So when we're going to, we're going to have to run through a few things you can't do. And I was like, oh, shit. If they say football, the gym, which I, I was convinced they were going to say because yeah. of so they went, yeah, so um, things you can't do. And I was like, all right. And I, was, I literally I was like panicking, panicking. I went, yeah, um, scuba diving. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I went, I went, really? <laughs> I went, oh, I've booked him for a week next week. <laughs> I said, no, I'm joking. I, they, like, no, and then they started laughing. I was like, hang on, see, I've just had a major heart attack and you're telling me the only thing I can't do is scuba dive. And they went, yeah. I was like, I was just, I was just, I just got up and started doing the body. <laughs> I was, couldn't believe, I couldn't believe it. I was so lucky. And they went, yeah, just because now we've clamped the hole, if you go scuba diving, it might unpop the hole because of the what is it suction or whatever pressure yeah. so yeah i was so, i got away with it so like yeah, so a relief people, mate <laughs> scuba, scuba diving uh, <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. So, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> there's, the, there's the door go fly <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, i was lucky so that's lucky. really amazing no definitely yeah. uh, we, we, we've got two more questions if that's okay um, so first one you always ask people on golf life if you could have a caddy for the day who would it be we're going to ask you if you could have three more guests on golf life you've already had your heroes Ole. who would it be so you can't have him twice <laughs> okay so to come on the channel yeah okay uh so oh that's a great question well one's definitely rory mcelroy yeah and a lot of people would say why not tiger woods and don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Tiger Woods to come on. I'm not going to turn him down. But <laughs> I, I think with Rory McIlroy, it would be... This is how much I love golf. I'm playing with tees. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my new addiction, coffee, and my red face. And two and tees. Tees. <laughs> Living a dream. Yeah, what a chap. <laughs> what an absolute boy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Rory McIlroy, just because of the fact that I think he'd be a right good laugh, mm -hmm. and for me, it's it's about having a right laugh, like you said about doing your podcast, boys. It's about having a laugh. So Rory McIlroy, a hundred percent. Now I'd love Super Frank on. I'd love Super Frank Lampard, but he doesn't play golf. Um, and do you know who I've seen recently who I'd love to get on? Canelo. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's he's, he's on, his, on his channel all the time. Yeah, he's yeah. playing well. Yeah. Golf. Like, I'm not a massive boxing fan, I've got to be honest. Well, like, well, I am. I love watching boxing. But I just think it'd be, that man is so hard. Yeah. Like, I just think it'd be a really interesting interview. Yeah. Um, but who else? Like, I'm not really giving you answers. I'm just reading off names. <laughs> Maybe I should become more prepared because this is. I'm always <laughs> wondering why are they taking so long to answer this caddy question. Now I know. Now I know why. Uh, so Rory McIlroy, hundred percent one. Uh, Frank Lampard, I'd love to have him on. Uh, and Tom. Yeah, uh, and Jay and, Jay and Tom. Tom. Yeah, absolutely, Jay. And Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you can come. You can come as one though. So Jay, and, yeah, <laughs> yeah, about that. Yeah, about that. Yeah. McIlroy, McIlroy, Lampard, and Jay and Tom. <laughs> 
Ja, det er det. 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 Det er We usually play this or that with our guests, but we've just got one question for you. And one question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've got to do a rap. You've got to do a rap. Oh. Oh. Um, oh, um, oh, God. Your name's Tom, and my name's Jay. Where's that hay? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Where's that <laughs> Ooh, drop it down low. <laughs> my face hurts. Yeah. <laughs> My, my face, my face is red. <laughs> Actually, before the question, how do you put your own head in a headlock? Watch that! Look at that! <laughs> I watched the Kevin Hart interview. Oh. And you stay like that. Look, I'm going to answer the. I'm going to answer the question like this. Come on. So the question is: Yes, Chelsea yeah. in the treble, <laughs> or you win the open. Uh, Chelsea win the treble. Ooh. Yeah. Because uh, I've got no fucking chance of winning the <laughs> Open. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love golf. I love golf. But for me, it's like Chelsea is, is massive for me. Because my dad was... My mum and dad were the first people in the world to have their wedding reception on Stamford Bridge. Oh, wow. Made the papers, and my dad's ashes are actually underneath Stamford Bridge. Wow, it's amazing! That. So yeah, Chelsea's big in the family, and I'd like other people. That sounds so soppy, but I generally mean it. I'd like other people to be happy about Chelsea winning stuff. The yeah. Yeah. Just winning, open, if you know what I mean. Yeah, if that that would affect thousands of people. Uh, am I right in thinking John Terry had a big part in with your ashes, the ashes going under <laughs> Stamford Bridge? Yeah, so. Um, the day after the funeral, I was, of course, smashed off my tits and emotional. And I got a text. I, was, I remember it was like the old Nokia phone. And it was like a long text from an unknown number. So I was like, I was reading it in the morning, blurry eyes. And it was like, hello, mate. Just wanted to say I'm so sorry. You know, what's happened recently? And you know, all, me and all the boys are, you know, if anything you need and we're sending all our love. And I was like, well, one, I don't know who this is. I don't know who all the boys is he's referring to. And it was like, let us know if you need anything. All the best, mate. Uh, JT. And I was like, so then I sort of woke up a bit. I was like, hang on, that's, I was like, all the boys, is he talking about? It's like, I was like, okay, no, that's John Terry. And I didn't know him. I didn't know him. I'd like I asked one question, one question, sir, only maybe two years prior. So I was like, oh, fucking hell. So I went and showed my mum and my uncle who were staying over and they were just got emotional going, that's such a nice touch. So then like three weeks later, mum's like, I don't like asking, but do you think John could maybe get dad's ashes? Like we could go to the ground and maybe put them like you know scatter them around or whatever and then there was a bit of um and ah and we know we asked the club that was it we asked the club and the club said no we can't do that because and it was f- fair enough yeah so then mum really mum really wanted it so i went to john which i probably shouldn't have done but it was for my dad and i didn't really care at the time yeah. so i said to john do you reckon you could maybe sort this out and he was like so the next day it was all sorted it was like yeah we dug a hole where so literally 15 of us went up, all suited and booted, went on, they got us onto the pitch. We put the ashes underneath the ground in a little hut. And so, yeah, so John to do that for us was amazing. Yeah, that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. What a guy to Again, do that, though. You don't hear stories like that. No, you don't. Don't sell, mate. No, That's mate. why. Yeah. Mm. No, that's that, yeah, so for for him to do that for our family was amazing because it was obviously a nice start that mum and dad got married. Well, sorry, wedding reception, and then to have it there. So it's just my dad and Peter Osgood underneath the ground. That's amazing, that. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah which is cool. 
Listen, Cubes, like, thank you so, so, so much for coming on here, honestly. Yeah, like, thanks for having me. We, we, I can't, still can't believe yeah, it. To it's be so surreal, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We're buzzing, absolutely buzzing. And, like, we probably took up more of your time than we planned, to be honest with you. Yeah, Sorry about that. that. No problem. We had a good laugh. It was good, good fun, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was good. No, definitely. Yeah, it was good. Um, honestly, again, thanks so much. Um, and to those listening, obviously, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Swipe right, swipe left. Swipe Tell your friends, birdie dance. <laughs> dance. Oh, if you're oh, struggling, yeah. talk, birdie dance, swipe left, swipe right. Down. <laughs> Drop it down. Cheers, boys. <laughs> Drop it down low. <laughs> thank you so boys, much. Again. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. No, thank you. Thanks very much. On a serious note, let me know when it's up and I'll swipe left, swipe right, swipe left for birdie oh, dance. Cool. Really right. appreciate that. Thanks, thanks so much. Enjoy your day. No worries, boys. Thank See you later. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.